Hey there everyone, Steve Gonzer, uh, physical therapist with Run Smart Online. I want to show you guys some really cool exercises. Um, so we're getting ready to launch the Midfoot Project. Uh, you can find more information on that at midfootproject.com. Um, and uh, part of that process of the Midfoot Project is taking someone from a heel striker to a midfoot striker, learning how to soften the impact when they land so that they can protect their body, particularly their knees, but also run faster. We know that heel strikers tend to start and stop with every motion, completely slowing them down, um, but also they, they take a lot of load through their knees, so we teach them how to transition away from that for better form. Um, <clears throat> part of the process of learning midfoot is prepping your muscles. So remember, if, if someone, if you haven't watched any of these videos, a heel striker is going to be someone who loads the bones when they land, and they completely tap what we call tap the brakes. So when you transition to a midfoot strike, you're going to be taking that load that was originally into the bones, and you're going to be loading it into your natural rubber bands, your bungee cords of your body, which is your tendons and your muscles. Particularly, uh, we focus on trying to get you to load your muscles. So imagine for a second, you're going to take three times your body weight, you're going to transition it from your, mus from your bones, and you're going to give it to your muscles. If your muscles are not prepared for that, there's a really high chance that you can get hurt. Uh, we've been doing this for 10 years, um, and we kind of package that all at the mid, uh, in our Midfoot uh, program, uh, midfootproject.com, and uh, it's a five-week program, and in that program, we teach you how to get stronger so that when you take that load and give it to your muscles, they're ready. And also, what's nice about the exercises, they also give you um, uh, just some great things that you can do just to avoid injury overall and focus on strength. So... Uh, if you're interested in learning more about that, it's midfootproject.com. So let's talk about the exercise. Uh, we go through this period in five weeks where we're teaching. In the first period, it's about muscle prep, getting your calves used to running, your quads used to running this specific way. And then we get to later on down the road, which I'm going to talk about now, which is called your friends and helpers. So think of friends and helpers are big muscle groups that can really benefit your running. And uh, it is... Your backside, your butt, or what my grandmother would say is your dupa. For any Polish people out there, they know that's your ass. Um, so what I want to focus on is I'm going to show you a couple exercises. These are like one or two of the, the main or big ones that we use to help people uh, transition from their midfoot onto, or transition from their heel onto their midfoot. So the first one, uh, you know a lot of people that do lunges, right? So traditional lunge is something like this, dropping the knee down, coming back up. We actually don't like that, and when we go through the Midfoot Project, we teach you how to do smarter exercises that'll help your running. Uh, so what we do is we like to transition away from that drop knee position and lowering it down. I know uh, you probably have learned this over the years, and you might even do this, but think about this for a minute. If we want to uh, exercise and treat this lunge a little bit smarter so we can get into our butt, because the butt, the butt, the glutes, the hips, whatever you want to call it, are the big powerhouse muscles for your running. So you're going to want to focus on those. So instead of dropping that knee, what I encourage everyone to do first is when they do their lunge is let their back heel come up, but keep their hips straight. What's going to happen is if you look at the running posture, this is more like a run posture and we're not going to put a lot of extra load on that back leg. So instead, uh, you look, your lunge would look something like this to start pushing off and coming back up. Now, there's a couple of variations of things that you can do to help this. So hang with me here. Give this a try. So I want to load your hips more. Those are the big powerhouse, the friends and helpers of the midfoot project. So instead, I want to have you do a forward lunge with a reach down. By reaching down towards the knee, you're going to load the hip. When you're very upright, you're going to get, a, you're going to get some hip, but you're going to get a lot of knee with it. We want to protect the knee. So we reach down towards the knee, we push off and come back up. So the full exercise would look something like this. Here, reach down, come back up. Reach down, come back up. Now, progressions to that are pretty simple. You can add some weights in your hand, a ball, a medicine ball, or, or what I actually prefer is to work on balance with this. So you can do your forward lunge, reach down, come back up, and balance on one leg. Back into a running posture. If you think about running from the side, you tend to see this posture woo, Whoops, <laughs> uh, from, from this. Um, so we like to get people back into this posture uh, so they can stabilize, they can balance. So real quick, let's go again. It's, it's here, reaching down, up to balance. If you can balance with it, maybe you just start with coming back to neutral. So that chest down is important. Now, there's, you can do many different lunges. I think one of the biggest things I see with people is they neglect a side lunge. So lunging to the side and coming back up is a great exercise to load that lateral hip. 
Sometimes with running, you want to get outside that forward and backwards plane because we're constantly moving in this direction. By going laterally, you get into your butt. By reaching down, you get into your butt or your dupa some more. So doing that is a great way to get your friends and helpers engaged. I want to show you one more. A lot of my patients know this one. Um, and this is all part of the friends and helpers package um, that we teach with the Midfoot Project. Um, so again, looking to transition to heel strike to a midfoot strike, you need the big, strong muscle groups um, that are going to be needed when you midfoot run so you don't get hurt. And this is what we're going to go for. The final one I want to show you is like a speed skater exercise. It's very controlled. Um, you're going to start just balancing on one foot. And then all you're going to do is you're going to reach back and across, get the chest down. A lot of people like to keep it up. That gets away from your hip. Get the chest down, reach back and across, and fire back up to balance. This little speed skater drill with good control coming up to a balance like this is a huge hip strengthener. It's way better than your bridges, your clamshells, and all the other junk getting pushed out there because think about the running motion. When you're running, you're going to be here. You're going to be on one foot. I'm going to put you there, and I'm going to make you control from your hip. Can you control that through a speed skater and come back up? Now, if you find that difficult, you can add a, like a paper plate underneath your back foot and just do a slider. You don't have to come up to balance, but let's just try on the other side so you can see this. Back and across, chest down and up, chest down and up. This is a fantastic friends and helper exercise. I definitely encourage you guys all to work on that transition from heel strike over to midfoot, learning how to land on a nice bent knee underneath your center of mass or closer to your center of mass so you can get that natural shock absorption. Anyone who runs and is looking to run for 5 to 10, 15, 20 more years should work on their foot strike. If you know that you do this, straight knee, toe up, toe up, it's not sustainable. In fact, it can cause a lot of problems. So if you're interested in learning how to go through this, learn more exercises that you can do to help with your run form, learn the specific drills and everything that we've been doing over the last 10 years to help people transition from their heel to their midfoot, uh, go to midfootproject.com. And uh, if not, that's cool. Just maybe try these exercises and uh, consider getting off your heel if you're a heel striker. Um, because the benefits are amazing. We see this every day uh, as physical therapists. So um, I'll be, uh, I'm going to jump on the treadmill. So I'm not going to go look for questions. I got to get my run in before I go to work. Had a little bit too much coffee today already. Um, but I'll be around looking for questions later on. So just drop them in the comments. As far as repetitions, you can do three sets of 10 on each side. Um, but load the butt, load your dupa. All right. All right. Have a great day, everyone.